Thank you for tuning in to After the Whistle. I am your host, Asher Daniel, along with my guest, Edmund Aktibo. Thank you so much for joining us, Edmund. I am Edmund Aktibo. <laughs> it's been a while, so how has it been? Uh, been kind of crazy. Yeah? School, my son's birthday party, dealing with all the g <laughs> It's 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 a full-time job. Yeah? And so I'm almost done. How is school going? It's good. Yeah. A couple more weeks, I'm going to do that stroll, Yeah. walk. I'm, gonna, I'm getting educated. Well, I know Jacob's birthday was uh, just uh, one he, year now. He turned the big one, yeah. Awesome. Yep. The whole Superman outfit between it was, a Superman, Margaret, theme. It was a Superman theme. It was beautiful. Yep. Perfect superhero to go with. Yep. That's so, you know, it was wonderful. We have a jam-packed uh, schedule for you guys today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and discuss the NBA playoffs, to where the series are at the moment. We're going to go ahead and discuss the NHL playoffs, too, or what teams advance and what are still fighting for that. Uh, are the Blackhawks playing? No, they're not. Unfortunately, they're not. But hey, you know it's a sports show. I gotta, yeah. I gotta talk about every other team. I just hope the San Jose Sharks lose. You know what? You know what? With that team, actually, did they get swept? They, they actually advanced. So, let me see. Did they advance? Actually, let's take, take a quick look. I hope not. I think they did advance. No, I hope Nashville not. Nashville No, they are actually wins. San Jose Sharks advanced. So, I'm sorry about that. Why? Why do you, don't you like? I, them? I just don't like them. Why? Is it Joel Thornton who uh, knocked Jonathan Taves out of a concussion a couple I, years ago? I, I just don't like San Jose. <laughs> All right, so we're going to discuss the NHL playoffs. What we're going to also talk about is the um, NFL draft is coming up. So we're going to get that in a segment also. I'm we'll excited. We'll talk about the Cubs. We'll talk about the Sox uh, on a spiraling down. The Cubs with the unfortunate hit on the Chris Bryant to the head. Did you see that play yesterday? Yeah, he's okay. He's, he's okay. okay. So let's go ahead. And we'll also actually have uh, Nino Smalkia on today, too. Uh, thank you so much again, Ninos, for sponsoring our show. We love that. Um, your gratitude is greatly appreciated. We'll discuss the cruise with him and uh, what he does as far as real estate also. So let's go on with the NBA uh, playoffs. We have the Toronto Raptors versus the Washington Wizards, who are actually right now, at the moment, uh, Washington, actually Toronto looks like they have a 3-1 uh, to one lead. Um, I thought with this point, actually, I'm sorry, a 2-2 two, two to two lead, series lead. You know, and Toronto is looking at go up on this series, but we'll see what happens. Uh, with the Toronto Raptors, I mean, they pretty much led the NBA throughout the whole season. I thought this was going to be a clean sweep with them over the Washington Wizards. Uh, unfortunately, it did, it did not happen, so we're gonna, they're going to continue playing. Um, I thought, yeah, you know, I was thinking at this point Toronto would have a 3-1 to one lead, but the series is tied. Um, and Washington's putting a, a pretty good show with that. Uh, your make of it, and I know you're not much of a basketball guru, but you know Toronto pretty much led, you know the whole, you know the whole time in the in in the NBA, and you know, they're playing. It's a one versus eight seed. And I was discussing it last week. You know, you usually had these upsets. The one always kind of loses to the eight seed in the NBA. You see that happen a lot over many other leagues like the NFL. You don't get much of that, but it seems like it happens once a year. So now a series is tied two two. I thought it would have been a three to one lead by now, yeah. but, it's, but it's two to two. And Toronto is going back to you know to Canada now to get to get up uh, three to two. Any what's your word on that? Washington has been playing very aggressive, and so is Toronto. If you look at the other game, they had multiple players in foul trouble. Yeah, I'm talking one Beal, their number one player for mm -hmm. Washington. He he was gone with I want to say five minutes left in the game. Listen, Washington is a one man show. Beal. He's he he, is. he's their bread and butter. He is. Without him, they're done. Uh, fortunately, they were able to come through. Yeah. But 
they're not going to advance. Toronto has got too many key players. They're just too strong for Washington. Mm -hmm. They're a very aggressive team. Washington's a very defensive team, but they just don't have enough horses. They got one horse, not plural. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it makes total sense. You know, I don't know if Toronto just kind of took this team lightly as far as Washington, but, you know, if it's a one team horse with Washington, the guy's not going to be able to, Beal's not going to be able to do it all by himself. Listen, the Cleveland Cavaliers are supposed to be the best team on the planet with the best player in the world, Alassas. Alassas. And they're 2 2, right? Yeah. Oh, I mean, we are getting to this one real so, soon. Okay. Look, it happens. It, it that's does why, happen. That's why we play the game, right? It, absolutely. The next uh, game we have is the Boston Celtics versus the Milwaukee Bucks. And actually, Edmund, this is a really good, good series. I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, even though with Boston not having Kyrie Irving, he's out for the season, they've kind of gathered around and, uh, and kind of played as a, a team together. But, hey, look at Milwaukee Bucks. They're a 7 seed team. And I'm thinking here that Boston was going to go with a clean sweep over Milwaukee. But now we have a team in the Milwaukee Bucks who just tied the series 2-2. Two to two, Okay? This is really... Uh, exciting. And now, they, now, for you that don't know much about the, the Milwaukee Bucks, they had this Greek player, okay, named Giannis. I, even, I can't even pronounce his last name. Antakala. Antakala. You know, it's, it's the guy's arm width literally is like six feet. It's ridiculous. His reach. Is, his wingspan is on the His road, wingspan yeah. is on, out the roof. So, you know, he's a player that's going to be reckoned with coming down a few, uh, a few more years. When, when this team uh, does good, Milwaukee is going to be a great team, I think, in the near future. And look who bought into them, Aaron Rodgers. Well, bought stock into the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Here's the problem we have with small market teams. You have great, excellent players. For example, this Greek kid. They call him the Greek freak. The Greek freak, absolutely. He's playing in Milwaukee. You have this other kid, Anthony Davis, playing in New Orleans for the Pelicans. Mm -hmm. These guys are all still on their rookie contract. Yeah. Once that five years is up, these guys are getting out of town. Mm -hmm. They're going to a big market team. Big market team like L.A., New York, Chicago. They're not going to stay in Milwaukee. They're no. not going to stay in New Orleans. Yeah. Just like these players in Philadelphia, and we haven't gotten to them yet. They have not gotten to them yet. Right, but that's the problem. These teams are okay while these guys are still young. But once that contract comes up, these guys are getting See, and, out of town, and, going to the big market. And that is the problem I have about this league. And I've mentioned it before. You have, you know, it's a, it's a luxury tax league, okay? If you had a salary cap input like the NFL, like the NHL, all these smaller market teams would have a vital share <coughs> into what's going to happen down the future. They can invest in their players. These teams would have a legitimate chance of having maybe a, a, a franchise, maybe even going down in, in, into a dynasty. But, you know, as, as the Milwaukee Bucks, as all these teams, seems like these players all want to go play for whoever the big name is. Let's, let's form a little group of friends, okay, and, and go to a team that's hot right now. Right. And how, I mean, the, I mean honestly, how is ownership of teams like Milwaukee, teams like, Min I mean, Minnesota's fairly good. But, you know, there are smaller market teams out there. How are they going to benefit from that? The, the owners really could care less because they're going to get paid no matter what. Because they're going to make money. It's not really... Well, well but merchandising in Milwaukee... Very small percentage of owners actually, I believe, want to win. I mean, you have the Ricketts with the Cubs, that's a different story. They came in, they won, they won't want to spend the money. But a lot of these owners are very greedy. They don't care. Yeah. They don't care. I mean, unfortunately. Guys, you are viewing, um, this is an open t message uh, you guys, feel free to shoot your messages out there. We'll read them out, mention your name, and comment, even if you have anything to touch base with what the, well, wait, wait, wait. the topic is. No comments about my hair. Having a bad hair day. Why? You look like that you got the George Clooney look. No, on. man, it's very bad. Seriously? I need a haircut. It's bad. Midget? Wow. Yeah. So we also, if you guys want to chime in and talk to us, call us on my messenger, my personal messenger. Not the, not the, um, not the, the Asher Daniel whistle. Messenger. The Asher Daniel Messenger. We'll get you live on here. We can yep. talk to you. If you do not want a message, we'll get you going live too. So either message me on here. We'll discuss like we always do every week. Or call me on Messenger. We'll have you on. We'll hear your voice. We know who we're talking to. And everyone else will hear you too. Yep. Okay? Um, so the next one is the Philadelphia 76ers. Oh, the team, yeah. I think, who might end up in the finals. <coughs> Uh, against the Miami Heat. 
Now look, Philly is up 3-1. to one. Usually when you're up 3-1, to one, the NBA is going to throw one out there to the Heat just to keep the series going. You know what I'm saying? You Unless got you're doing... the Cleveland Indians. To who? I was joking. I said, unless you're the Cleveland Indians. The Cleveland Indians. Well, yeah, absolutely. We're not playing the Cubs there. But you know what? You got Dwayne Wade, who pretty much won that last game all by himself, okay? We understand he might go out. This might be his last year. Do you want to blow the whistle on that one? No. No? I'm going to save it. Well, you know, for Cleveland. I'm saving mine for Cleveland. I hate Cleveland. Yes. I hate San Jose. So Philadelphia 76ers versus the Miami Heat. Philly's up 3-1. to I think they should pretty much wrap this up. The game's tomorrow night on TNT. I think they should wrap it up. What the NBA God's going to say to extend the series, to make more money for the markets, who knows, okay? Um, yes. It's guaranteed Philly's <laughs> advancing. <laughs> guaranteed. That 90, 100, call your bookie now. Listen to me. If you listen to me, you will go forward. Philly's going forward. They're so going to win. Let me say hi to a couple of our viewers right now watching. Romeo Lilu is watching. Hello, Romeo. Romeo Lilu. He, Mark, just got, he just got back from Detroit. Did he? Yeah. What was he there for? Well, his wife got into a minor fender bender. Oh. And they wanted, like, I don't know how much to fix it over here. He took it to Detroit. It was, like, 80% off. What? Got it fixed, yeah. But he's got to spend all that money on gas then. So it kind of Well, he out. went there because. <laughs> In my opinion. He, no, he's got cousins and family there, so it was good. I got you. I got you. Yeah. So we got Margaret. Who? Margaret Activo. Oh, hey. I, you're, she's. Okay, see, there's a problem. I mean, did you wash I dishes? Told her, no, I told her. Did he her, wash the dishes? Did he wash Listen, did he do? I told her about an hour ago, I'm going to get cigarettes. I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> it's already been an hour. So she doesn't know I'm here. Surprise! I'm here. Let's put you on the spot. I need another hour. Okay, and then we got my sister, Linda Yonan, watching. Thank I don't know Linda Yonan. Sister. That's my sister. Younger or older? No, older. My mother. I'm going to. She's older? Well, not by much. Was she by. Uh, eight years? How old are you? 29, 30? 42. You're oh, 40? I'm turning 42 in May. Wow, you're we're not gonna, well, Look, We're not going to talk about this birthday conversation like we did last time. <laughs> so anyway, so thank you guys for joining us. Like I had mentioned before, please chime in uh, with your comments. We'll actually touch base with what you have to say. Uh, Margaret says whatevers, you know. I, I, don't, I don't speak Jilu, okay? <laughs> so, and if you do want to call in the show... Message here on my call personal. in, call in, but call no, in. nothing about my hair, Trump or Russia. But call in, guys. Touch. Let's keep it. Let's keep it a family-based show. So no f bombs on here if you do call in. They okay? have to call Asher Daniels Messenger. Asher Daniels Messenger. On call Facebook. me there. We'll get you live on here. We can hear you. You'll hear us, and the whole world will hear you. The next one <coughs> we have is the Cleveland Cavaliers boo. versus the Indiana Pacers. Okay. LeBron James. Boo. Now, one thing I want to... Chikelta, go put more LeBron James. LeBron James, yeah. Chikelta, well, <laughs> Chikelta. One thing I want to say is with this game that I watched, okay, Indiana was up 2-1. to one. I'm telling you, okay, and I hate to say these games are kind of like, you know, uh -uh, but fixed in a way, but Indiana, last five minutes, for you guys who are reviewing this, they pretty much let Cleveland score, okay? I mean, they were letting them have a layup without even, like, defending this team. I don't understand it. They could have been up three to games to one. Something happened. I was watching layups go through when Indiana plays better defense than that. So do they want to extend this series? Absolutely. Do they want LeBron James to leave down three games to one? I don't know because, you know, that's elimination. I believe in this series they want to extend it as much as – does it go seven games? I believe so. You know, but if they're having a hard time with the, Cleveland, with the Indiana Pacers, okay, imagine what they have to go through with the Houston Rockets or any other team that they have to face prior – after this. Yeah. If they advance. I'm sorry. With LeBron James, you have no chance of making it to the finals. So you might as well start looking for what team you want to move on to, you know, since you want to proclaim yourself as the king of basketball, better than Jordan. You know, I hate to – this whole comparison of Jordan versus LeBron is absolutely nuts. But they keep – actually, you know what? No. I blow my whistle on that. The reason why I say that is, you know, we, we consistently have to go through this. Nick Wright came, comes on and just talks about LeBron James like, you know, Show me something that Jordan, uh, uh, Jordan has done that LeBron hasn't done. Well, Jordan has won three championships in 667 games, which LeBron has only done three championships in 1,345 games. That's pretty much his entire lifespan. That alone should sum it up for you, okay? So the series should have been 3-1, to one, in my opinion. Unfortunately, it's 2-2. Two to two. Cleveland Cavaliers with the Indiana Pacers now. Okay, so the game is swinging back to Cleveland. There's no more home court advantage. Game starting back to 0-0. So now, you know what? What do you do at this point if you're Indiana? 
it's best of three series. They got to do their best. But at the end of the day, as much as I dislike LeBron James, he's still the best player in the NBA today. Okay, today, all around best player in the NBA today. I'm not going to take that away from him. Absolutely. Today. Absolutely. Today. 90s, no. We know who the best is. Absolutely. So let's say we're going to come right back with this conversation, so please stay with us. We now have a via satellite, Nino Smalky, joining us. Hello. Nino Smalky is going to join us now. Nino Smalky. So let's go ahead and take a quick, quick time out, and we'll have Nino Smalky discuss the Syrian cruises coming up in 2019. And discuss a little bit personal of what he does on a real estate Guaranteed, <laughs> no one's gonna get kicked off the cruise like they did in Australia. I'm actually very excited for this. So we'll no be right one's back gonna get kicked off. Know, stay tuned. Guaranteed. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning back with us. Uh, we showed you some standings of the NBA playoffs. As I promised, we have Nino Smalky, who's joining us from Arizona. Is it Malky or Malky? I believe it's Malky. 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 Okay, so we I have Nino Smalky. I love Milky Way, because I love Milky Way. <laughs> so it's, we have Nino's candy bar. We have Nino Smalky, Malky, joining us from Arizona. We're going to discuss the Assyrian cruise that's coming up next year. It's actually coming up right around the corner. I'm very excited for this. Nino's, can you hear us? Sure can, brother. Hello, hello, Ninos. Hello, hello, fellas. Hello, Edmund. More than sunny, 100%. Okay, so Ninos, um, again, I thank you so much for taking some time to uh, come on the show with us and, and join us. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, you've been very loyal to the show. Thank you so much with all our great hearts. Obviously, the great hearts you have from our, from our producers to us here, thank you so much for your sponsorship. The, you know, what you've put for us, uh, we greatly appreciate it. Um, so tell us a little bit about this cruise um, you've, been, uh, you've been working very hard with, um, along with another partner, um, that you've, you've flown out here, you've given out flyers, you've talked on a show that you have in Arizona. So tell us a little bit about, you know, the production and, and wh where we're at now at this point. Wonderful. Um, first of all, um I'd like to say hello to, to all of you guys and say hello to all uh, the wonderful viewers out there. Um, and I really appreciate you, uh, if anything, uh, um, Aziz Ashur, for, for having me on the show, uh, you know, for giving me the opportunity um, to kind of let people, um, you know, around know a little bit, uh, you know, about what, what I do and whatnot. I really, really appreciate it. As you know, it's a world of technology nowadays. And... You know, this is the best way right now, and I really appreciate, the, like I said, the opportunity. And you know, um, I, I love your show. I believe in you, and I believe in your show. You do a phenomenal job, honestly, phenomenal job. What Along with Edmund, I, uh, actually, you know, I've, 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 I've heard, I've heard Edmund a couple times, um, um, you know, on your show. He does. He's 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 unbelievable at this. He really knows his sports. Who is this, so, Edmund uh, Akibo? I Yes, yes. Do you understand? I have to teach him about an hour prior to coming on the show. 
Oh, is that what it is? Is that <laughs> what it is? Hey, I'm hey, kidding. as 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 long as he doesn't choose uh, LeBron over Jordan. Oh my God! <laughs> never, <laughs> never, never, <laughs> never, absolutely not. We were just mustahil. Never, absolutely not. No. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Because th there's no any other one like uh, like MJ. I don't think there'll ever be another athlete like absolutely. MJ. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and I was... cannot, I cannot stand, I cannot stand the comparison anyway. It's not even, not even a comparison. Uh, <coughs> Nino, so tell us, um, you know, it, it looks like the clock is ticking on this cruise. Um, it, it seems like it was just, like, it's coming on so quick. Uh, I believe it's February. Um, we, and I know we have the post up. We're going to put it up in a little bit. Uh, one thing uh, most of our viewers want to ask is uh, the prices seem to have kind of jumped up. So can you explain that? Because I know some people were asking what, you know, what had happened. Uh, if you can kind of share it with our viewers. Sure, absolutely. Uh, before I do that, for some reason, I cannot see you guys. Your camera is off. So is that, can you see me guys clear? Is that all right? We, no, we can see you. Yeah, yeah don't your, worry your about camera us. is off. For, yeah, we can see okay. you. Okay, wonderful. Um, well, here's the thing. As you know, the cruise, uh, you know, takes place on um, uh, February 24th of, of next year. Uh, but you're absolutely right. The, uh, you know, the time is, um, is ticking uh, you know these things have to be planned way in advance. Um, as I've, I've as I've said on your last show, uh, honestly, it took uh, George and I three years uh, to get this thing going. You know, to make this thing happen. And and prayer ala prayer Maria, Priwi wa kat awa mindi. You know, will 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 go forward. So hopefully, uh, you know, like I said, this thing will happen. Uh, um, the thing is with the cruise, honestly, the, these things have to be like I said, planned in advance. Um, the payment, the full payment, is due three months. Three three months before before um, you know before the uh, the due date before the departure date of of um, let's see uh, like I said February twenty fourth so you're talking about three months you're talking about in November so everything has to be paid in November however a lot of people are already registering which which I'm taking registration um, you know immediately and 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 actually we're we're, we're kind of delaying on the registration you know unfortunately our people kind of wait until the last minute before they register. Um, I love conventions. I'm, I'm, I'm a great supporter of conventions. I, I don't miss conventions. This is people have to understand. This is a little bit different than the convention. You know, with the convention, people can register that day, even though they're not really supposed to, and go into these parties. Right? Mm -hmm. It's always best for anybody to register ahead of time so that people running these things will know what to do. They can plan a lot better so we can we can we can do our job a lot better, you know? So but but convention people register and then they can go in. With cruises, it's completely different. These things have to be planned in advance. The 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 uh, the fees are due, like I said, three months prior to sailing. So so we don't have time honestly. So I urge people if they're interested in going I urge people to go into the website. You know, you might have it on the screen. I'm not sure. It's www.starcruise, one word, dot com. Go in it. I have loads of information about this, uh, about this cruise, uh, you know, about this cruise thing. Uh, so, you know, the event. So, it's, you know, let them go into it, study it. If there's any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer their questions. If they cannot understand anything, um, you know, uh, everything about the, uh, the website. Um, but it's it's really really important that I stress for people if they're interested on going for people to go and register immediately put in that three hundred dollar deposit very very crucial believe me they'll make my job a lot easier and I'll make my I'll make this cruise a lot a lot smoother a lot better a minute to do you know for our people so if anything you know I hope if they you know just I really need them to go and register if they're interested um, as far as the prices. You know, when I first started this, we didn't know how well it was going to take off. And thank God, it really has taken off. People from all over the world have heard about this. I have people from Australia, from Canada, from, from, from Germany, from Sweden calling me, you know, registering for this thing. So, it, it, you know, a lot of the, the word is out there about this cruise. So when I first started, I had started with the 50 rooms because I didn't know the magnitude of it, okay? Um, my goal was to take the entire cruise ship, to cater, you know, to, to, to book the entire thing, to, to charter the entire thing. But you know what? We have to start uh, little by little in, in booking these rooms uh, because the risk is, 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 is tremendous, you know, for, for, you know, for me. So what I did was I went ahead and booked 50 tickets, excuse me, 50 rooms, and I had a special on the price just to get people to, to go ahead and register. Um, but after that, you know, these cruise ships, the longer we wait, 
the prices keeps going up. Yeah. And I just ordered another 500 rooms, actually, that I put in a deposit for, that the price will be at the 825 per person for the for the mid cabin for the for the cabin without the view. I have four different pricing, as you can see. You know, the um, the one without the view is 825. The one with the window is, I believe, 930. The one with the balcony is 1195, and then the suite is 1595. Now, keep in mind, this is per person based on double occupancy. So two people have to be in the room. If one person chooses to book it all by himself, and he wants the entire room to himself, he has to pay double. For example, if it's 825 per person, he has to come up with 1650 uh, Two days ago, I, go ahead. I have two questions for you. Sure. These are very important questions. Are you ready for question number one? Absolutely. Will there be poker on the ship? <laughs> you know, we could actually, you know, there's a casino there, so yes, there is. Okay. There is the a second, poker on the ship. You play poker? I'm the best. Texas Hold'em? Of course. Wait, you haven't played me then. <laughs> Ninos. Yes. My second question is the most important. Are you ready? Hookah. Will Gilus be allowed on the ship? <laughs> I need oh. to know now. <laughs> Will they be allowed you know on what? the ship? <laughs> uh, actually, in, 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 in my ship, absolutely. Yes! <laughs> it's going to be the best cruise <laughs> ever. Absolutely, brother. Lehoi, Titanic. You know, so, let me, so let me say something, no. Ninos. <laughs> By having Gilus on the ship, that means you're going to have double security on the ship, huh? <laughs> you know what? I, I, honestly, it'll be a fun, fun time. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. It will be the let best. me tell you something, Ninos. I, I, and I have went off on my way to say this. It is actually, the, it's so heartwarming to have something like this. Um, look, the Thank price you. is actually, if you think about it, guys, it's, it's a legitimate price. On, on a regular cruise, it is what it is. Yeah. Okay? Let but me, think let about me, how let many me touch a little bit on the price, on Aziz, and Sam Let me explain a little bit about the price. And, 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 and we'll get, what will they get with the price? Of course, they have to find their way to Fort Lauderdale, okay? Right. Well, Airline. I mean, that's common. Ticket. Any, any that's ticket. average Absolute, is about 250 to 350 If they do it ahead... They can they can probably find a ticket 200 250 bucks but let's say let's say max 300 dollars okay for their for their airfare I have the cabin the cheapest one is 825 dollars for 1125 dollars with the airfare can you imagine food 24 7 any time they want food is included drinks are included not alcohol I'm talking about soft drinks and yeah whatnot. but that's like every so, every cruise is like that. Absolutely. No, so there's no question. Is this is an unbelievable deal. Absolutely. Is, it's an yeah, unbelievable opportunity extra. for our people to get together, to be on a ship all at once. Honestly, it's a We've convention. We've never done this before. It's a convention. Yeah. We've never done this before. I think that this is a wonderful opportunity to go out to sea, all of us on a ship. I think this is excellent. And, and, I really do. And to say that there's, Nino, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, that there's four parties on different islands, Assyrian parties on an island. <laughs> island. I can imagine what's gonna happen. on the beach. Yeah. Seriously, let, I let, mean, me re yeah. let me reiterate a little bit about 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 the entertainment part of of, of, of you know of that uh, you know of, of this event. We're gonna have three parties three. Okay, on the ship. We're gonna have two beach parties. This this thing is gonna be taken off from Fort Lauderdale and it's gonna be going to the Bahamas and the Dominican Republic. And it will stop in four different islands for Beautiful. six days and five nights. Beautiful. Okay. All these parties are included with this price. With the 825, let's let, you know, let's choose the, the, the cheapest uh, price. With the 825, the food, the drink, any time you want to eat, and you, you can just choose two o'clock in the morning, three in the morning, you're in your room, you order room service. It's included. Okay. Exactly. Everything is included. Gratuity, taxes, gratuity, port fees. All that is included for $825. Ninos. Parties are all included. The beach parties that I'm going to have on these islands, I will have buffets on the beach, on these islands, what that I will be feeding these people. Go ahead. Ninos, you mentioned Dominican Republic, correct? DR? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Is a traveler required to have a U.S. passport for this cruise? U.S. passport is required to have... Here's the thing. A lot of people might will go with their with their Iraqi passport or or or, or let's say uh, international passport, and and I urge them that if it's expired, you know, um, to bring it to bring that along with them, even if it's expired, show me a a um, 
a valid driver's license and maybe like a birth certificate and we'll get them on board. This is as of now that I'm talking to you. Okay. You know, these rules are changing by the minute simply right. because you see, you, you know what's going on right now around the world. For example, you know, right now with, with, with what happened with the U.S. and Syria, they kind of stopped the border there. Right. People from there cannot come in what here. What just happened so in Toronto? We, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. So we don't know. We, you know, it, they may require a valid U.S. passport, you know, and not, of course, not an expired passport. But for now, if people don't, if, if people are not a uh, U.S. citizen, if they have international passport to bring that along, along with their birth certificate and a valid ID, state ID or a right. driver's license, it, you know, that will work. But like I said, I will, I, I will keep people posted constantly as we go along. Let's say, let's say these things change. The last minute these things change. Two months into this, three months into this, well, of course, our people will be will be uh, refunded in full if that happens. It's not it's not their fault, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But I will rest assured, I will let people know way in advance. Thank you. And 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 I will have the people from the cruise line kind of give me a set date that you know this is this is this is what it is because I've got to prepare myself as well. But for now, it's okay. For now, like I'm saying, you know, with the with the uh, with the international passport, um, as long as um, you know, like I said, they bring in the other IDs, it'll be all right. Um, but let me go back a little bit. Uh, Nina, so one moment. Know, I'm so sorry. One moment, buddy. Um, right. For our viewers um, who are watching, um, we're live here with Nino Smalki discussing the cruise for coming up in February 23rd of 2019. Um, we will be back with our sports segment momentarily. Uh, this is one of our sponsorship um, for our show, um, and, and we're very grateful for him because he does help out with us. So we want to obviously add, you know, his his side of what he does on this on this uh, cruise ship for the uh, Syrian community. This is something spontaneous that has never been done before. So we are live with uh, Ni Nino Smalki. Nino, not Sonny. Mumali. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nino Smalki. I just thought you were confused. With Thanks, him. thank Sonny. you. I think he confuses thank me you. when I, before I say it. So we're live with Nino Smalki in Arizona, taking in some time to uh, join us. Thank you. So please stay tuned with us. After we are done with Nino's, we'll go right back to our sports. Nino's Nino go ahead. Nino Zona, that's Sunny Zona, um, Nino Zona. Yeah, so let me, let me go back a little bit about this. So, so like I said, it's going to go to two different places, Dominican Republic and the Bahamas, four islands, uh, six days and five nights. All this, you know, uh, all this for $825, like I said. You know, with your airfare, maybe $250, $300. Bucks. So, you know, for about $11, $1,125, all of that, honestly, is nothing. You know, this was, it took, it took us three years to, to get this thing going. You know, as you can see, to put a party together, get a couple of singers, you know, bring 250 people, it's not easy to be honest with you, let alone something like this of this magnitude of 2,500 to 3,000 people. It's not easy. I'm on that track. I'm on that track to cater the entire thing. But keep in mind, if we have 1,000 people, the party is still happen. It will happen. We'll just have to be with other people that are on the cruise ship. And that's but if I do story. get, they, they promised me, the entire cruise takes 2,980 people along with 1,150 employees. Wow. The service is just unbelievable. That's like almost a so 3 to 1 ratio. They promised, me, they promised me that if I bring them 2,500 people, they will shut down the entire thing for me. So we can cater the whole thing. So honestly, can you imagine? And, 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 and the Lord is my witness. You know, first and foremost, when, when, when George and I thought about this, we said, you know what, what a beautiful way, just like you mentioned, to have this. This thing has been it's never been done and I can see why it's never been done because the honest to God truth, it's a lot, a lot of work. I can imagine. Look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing it happily, but it is a lot of work to be honest with you. So I hope and pray to God that our people will see something like this and they will take advantage of it because it will be unbelievable. It will be like a time of their life, honest to God. It's just for the people that haven't gone to cruises. This is a must, you know. It, it, can you imagine all of us together, six days, beautiful parties, beach parties, the DJ during the day, at night, soft music by by Johnson saxophone, you know, a guy, a really talented individual from from Canada, uh, who's going to be there, Isam uh, Isam Bahnam with his guitar. I mean, just playing that soft music, you know, the romantic music on on that pool. That pool area takes about 850 people. You know, they have, they have chairs for about 800. So it's massive. It's a city on water. It's 14 decks, length of three, more than three 
football fields. So can you imagine? You know. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Look, I initiated this thing. I started this thing, but this thing cannot happen without all of you guys. You know, if people don't go and register, it's not going to happen. Absolutely. And if they want it to happen, it's it, now it's in their hands. It's in the millet's hand. You know. So I hope and pray to God that that people will go register. So far, to be honest with you, a lot of people are registering. You know. Um, but of course, we do want the goal is to cater the entire thing, and of course, we're not there yet. And I just don't want them to wait for the last minute. No, I totally agree. And, and for our viewers, as you can see, that we have the uh, poster up. Um, you know, you can see the lineup of singers that we have. You know, they're top notch. Okay, it's and this is not just the Rinky Dink Cruise Liner, guys. It's the Carnival. Okay, and you know, you've been on a Carnival cruise before. If, whoever's been on a cruise before, whatever we're showing you now is the norm. You know that. It's the norm. So it's not like this is something that's extravagant, too much handle. You've been on a cruise. You know what to expect. But imagine, okay, thousands of, uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of Assyrians on one boat, okay? Now, you're going to go pay this money towards a vacation that you're going to enjoy somewhere else. You can enjoy something with all the singers that you can ask for from the past to the present, a DJ, a saxophonist. We have, you know, a great package deals, okay? And airfare, and most cruise liners, they don't include the airfare. I mean, you, everybody should know that by now. Right, right. That's so yeah. your, your tickets to Florida, honestly, it's like $200, two $300 the most. Fly Frontier, okay? Who cares? But go on there, and then you know you're going to have a time of your life. You're going to four islands. You know, three of them will have a party on it. So, you know, Nino Smalki, obviously, he's his poured his heart out on this. He's doing it out of his love, and I'm trying to help him with this because this is something that's so worthwhile. And if it succeeds, God willing, I think it is, we're moving on to different ventures. Ninos will find different cruises and, and different venues and what, you know, which locations they might go to. They're going to have chai right. on the boat. Also. Right. Honestly, the goal, the goal is to do this once a year in different parts of the world, you know, Europe, just, just different parts of the world every year. You know, I just went, I, I was just on a cruise with the, I mean, the, the stars on board, the Anid Arabaya, you know. I took my wife, my wife and I went, uh, went there. Um, it was beautiful. It went, it went in only to two different islands. It was for four days. Um, you know, good for them. But honest to God, it was, it was almost double the price of mine. I'm not knocking them. You know, good for them. But, I, you know, I, I've made it such affordable, you know, for our people to, to, to join. I really want them to go and see what it's like. It, it was beautiful, too. I'm with them Arabaya. You know, like I said, good for them. Listen, if they can do it, Absolutely. we can do something like this. You know what I mean? Just like they can. Nino, you know, so, uh, Albert's asking, your, your cousin Albert <laughs> is asking, will there any, be any sports on, on the cruise? I mean, that's a guaranteed. Me, uh, I, mean, I, mean, uh, I mean, I can tell you right now they're going to have volleyball. Sure. Okay. You look, they're, they're have look there's the volleyball, there is basketball, there's tennis courts. Yeah. Of course there's going to be sports on there. You know, so we can, look, and uh, on that basketball court, we can enter the soccer field. You, you know us. <laughs> you know what would be go, fantastic? We <laughs> if we can go live after the whistle on the cruise liner. Now, isn't that something? Absolutely. You know what, honestly, and, 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 and we can do that as well because, as you know, the show that I'm on and that I have my own show on Thursdays that you were on, Outdoor Network, um, they'll be there uh, filming this entire thing, this entire event live. So, so, so that crew is going to be there. I would love to have you on board, honestly. It's going to be a blast. I am, I, honestly, know, I'm, like I said, I'm, we're trying, I'm trying, obviously, going to be there um, with Flying Colors. We're trying our best. Uh, Romeo and Lulu just actually asked the same thing. He said, why don't you try to have after the whistle on the cruise liner? That would be something out yeah. of, It's you know, guaranteed. Guaranteed. I just can't tell uh, my wife about it. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Uh, I hope it I will, I hope it will be I hope it will be guaranteed. Look, it's so, a dream come true, Prel, Prel, Alaha. Yes. You know, not, not nine singers, nine of the, I mean, beautiful, beautiful singers, um, you know, that I'm bringing on board, along with, like I said, the, the Bandaleros, you know, DJ Jumpin' Jack, a buddy of mine from Chicago, as you guys all know, um, and then Johnson Saxophone from Canada, you know, along with these other nine singers, beautiful, beautifully talented singers. I mean, you know, with that price, with all that food, with all the events, um, all the parties, everything included, you know, we can't go wrong. Absolutely. Honestly, you know, so one, one thing I want to ask you before we go and move on to your side of the business, um, I know a lot of people are smokers. Is hookah going to be available on the cruise liner? Will they have something they're going to bring themselves? Beautiful question. Here's the thing. When I was there, some people did 
find their way to sneak a hook in there. But as I was leaving, I noticed at, at, at checkout when people were leaving, there was a lot of hookahs that people, that they confiscated from people there. They honestly do not encourage people to take hookahs with them because look, it's, it's a cruise line. You know, fire hazard in their rooms, on their balcony. I will have, I will have a company that will go from here that I've already set up that they will serve hookahs over there. I don't urge people to take their hookah, to be honest with you, simply because, look, they, it'll probably most likely be confiscated. You guys going to get it. They'll, they'll get it back when they leave, yeah. you know. But if I'm going to have somebody on board, why take that chance? And, 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 and why get in trouble? And, 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 you know, why risk the, 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 the hazard? You know what I mean? It's not even worth it. I'm going to have a dedicated spot. You know, with this gentleman, he's going to bring his own hookahs. He'll make it very affordable for everybody so that if people want, you know, want to, want to go ahead and have their hookah, they could. And, and, and I've kind of set that up as well. I've set that up on the islands as well. We will have hookahs on the island as well. Great. So everything's going to be set up for these people, to be honest with you. So, you know, it's just, it's just a matter of people going in there and, and making it happen and registering, you know. Awesome. Okay, Nino, so let's, um, thank you so much for that. Let's go ahead and discuss um, as far as your your personal side of the business um, in Arizona, as many of you know, um, his profession, you know, um, tell us a little bit about the real estate side of what you do in Arizona. Okay, well, um, as, as, as many of you guys already know, I've, 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 been, um, I've been a real estate agent for the past 19 years here in Arizona. Um, honestly, love it. I do it with passion. Um, I appreciate uh, Millette D, you know, they really, really support me 100 and some percent. Um, you know, I do do Nakhraya, but not that much. It's mainly our people. And because, honestly, they do keep me busy. They've kept me busy for, for, for so many years. Um, you know, my hat's off to them. I really appreciate them. Um, I do both commercial and residential. Um, you know, fortunately for me, unfortunately for you guys, we have a lot of people from Chicago, to be honest with you, moving in here. And I'm constantly getting the fake calls news, from fake them. News. <laughs> no, no. Nobody <laughs> from Chicago is going to Arizona. Uh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> we love Chicago, honestly. I love Chicago. We cannot knock Chicago out. You know, for me, for me, the move was 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 basically, honestly, the weather. You know, uh, look, we can we're gonna have traffic here too. You know, if you want to compare the two places, we'll have traffic here without a doubt. Yeah. Um, but you know, the weather had had a major impact on my life, me personally. You know, uh, if people look, home is home. Wherever you feel comfortable, home is home. You know, by all means. But we do have a lot of people from the East Coast areas moving in Arizona and thank God that that, that, that has kept me busy uh, you know uh, for this long so you know like I said I do both the commercial and residential the new sales you know the new home sales new construction resale homes uh, the commercial side you know the gas stations uh, I'm heavily involved in gas stations and shopping centers you know strip malls uh, convenience stores uh, liquor stores a lot um, you know few hair salons here and there barber shops um, now I've got a few people that are wanting to get into nursing homes, so um, you know we're looking for nursing homes uh, for them. You know th th those kind of businesses for sale. So uh, uh, you know, thank God. Uh, you know, I try to keep busy. You know, with 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 my uh, blessed with my four beautiful kids. You know, try God to stay, try them. to stay as 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 thank you, Aziza. God bless you you guys as well. Uh, so I try to stay as as busy as I can. Well, you guys saw his business card. If any of you are moving out to Arizona. Um, are you going to blow the whistle on this? No, I have a question for Ninos, though. Ninos, i got a question sure. for you. Sure, Edmund. Ninos, I want to buy a it. house. I want it to be a million-dollar house. I want to put $50 down. My credit score is 350 and I want my mortgage to be no more than 500 a month. Can you make this happen? Uh, may, maybe in, in the next world we could. What's that? <laughs> is that is it possible? Can you do this for me? Nino, million dollar home, fifty down. Uh, my credit score yeah. is three fifty, and I want my mortgage to be no more than five hundred a month. Five hundred dollar mortgage? Huh? Admit, admit, guaranteed? No. <laughs> You're not a good realtor then. What, what do we put in this guy's coffee? <laughs> You're not a good realtor then. Menchi, Menchi. Admit, uh, Nino, hey, hey, admit. admit. Edmund, go to study for that. <laughs> My credit score is 350. <laughs> you know what? And you know, this is what you got to yeah, do for him. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, this no. is what you do when someone asks you that. 
There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, thank Nino, you, thank you so much for taking the time and joining us. Guys, you saw very welcome, what he does guys. on the cruise. He spoils his heart out, you know, to make sure everybody gets on <coughs> something that was never been done before. He's also a real estate agent, so if you guys are looking to make the move to Arizona, now's the time. He's a perfect guy for this. Uh, he, he's got a heart of gold. He's going to make sure you're in the right Limpidawa, house. heart of gold. I love it. You know what? I'm going to have this I guy really... just for translating. I love it. Limpidawa. Limpidawa, honestly. <laughs> Nino, thank you so much for your time. Um, God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. Honestly, God bless you guys as well. From the bottom of my heart, I really, really appreciate you guys very, very much. Um, great job on the show, uh, Ashur. Uh, Edmund, I love you, man. You do a hell of a job as well, honestly, Thank God. Thank you. I salute so, you. So I, I salute you. you guys Thank for you. That. I, and I appreciate you guys. And, of course, as always, we appreciated your service all these years, Aziza, for serving this beautiful uh, um, Thank country. You. Thank you. So, uh, you know, we, Our we, we appreciate you. I'm a Libbet Almas, heart of diamonds. Aziz, Aziz, I appreciate diamonds. you guys. God bless you guys. Ninos, I just wanted to let you know, I will be in Arizona um, May 12th through the 18th. Aziz, so I'll see you then. Atichin Aziza, Atichin Ibn Bakhidia. Just make we'll sure go, we'll you put go on that, boat. that boat for me. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, there you go. We, we, we ready to lose mine. Absolutely. Anytime. Well, Bring put, in, hey, in, listen, in. I'll put the after the whistle flag on your boat, so that's how we represent it over there. <laughs> hey, there you go. Edmund, come along, Aziza, please. Edmund, I would love to have you I over as well. I'm finishing up on school. Oh, uh, we're not going to get man. past the airport with this guy. I'm studying <laughs> for the LSAT. I take my LSAT June 11th. Uh, More good luck. Good, good luck, Aziza. Good luck to you. LSAT, Murida. Law School of the Mission uh -huh. Test. Okay, Ninos, thank you so much. Good you have luck. a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having Bye, bye. Thank you. All right, we'll take a quick timeout with the score uh, with the um, M as the NHL uh, playoffs, and we'll be right back after this quick timeout. Anyway, we are right back. Thank you guys for staying with us um, as we thank uh, Nino Smalky again um, for... Not Sonny Malky, Nino Smalky. Okay, so we're going to move on to the Rockets and Timberwolves. Okay, the Houston Rockets versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, Houston leads this series 2-1, to one, which I thought they might have swept them, okay, with this. But, you know, Minnesota Timberwolves, which is like the Minnesota Bulls, okay, which we all know they have so many players, and Tom Thibodeau is their coach. Yeah. Tim Thibodeau, I'm sorry. 
uh, they, you know, they've, they've squeaked out a win, okay, but the game is going back. Uh, it's going to be played with, with he, the Houston Rockets is what I'm trying to say is they are the odds-on favorite to the whole season for winning the, the finals, okay? Without a doubt, you know. Wait, wait. You think they could beat the Warriors if Warriors are completely healthy? I'm not saying they're going to do that. I still think Golden State's going to win the whole thing. If they stay healthy. If they stay healthy. Okay, okay but you got to think of this. Steph Curry has been out for how long now? Well, healthy was the, you Okay, know. but they got enough depth on that team, okay, superpower to kind of win it without him. Who? In my opinion. Golden State? Yeah. No. Yeah, I mean, look what they're doing already. I don't think so. Because that's the case that well, Durant would have won with OKC. Yeah, but the chemistry is probably not with OKC. The chemistry, the coaching is well, not Well, I was never good in chemistry in high school. Well, <laughs> Uh, okay, so I still think Houston Rockets, you know, they are going to win this. No. You're going to blow your whistle on this? Yeah, no. You see Minnesota upsetting? No, 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 no. I, I don't see Houston, okay. you know, winning the whole thing, no. Guys, your comments are more than welcome. If you do want to call the show, we'll make it brief. Ask Steve Mushi. Okay. I bet you he'll agree with call me. Call the show on my private messenger, on my, on my, uh, my personal Facebook. Or make your comments here. We'll look at them and we'll yeah, can, discuss can this. Can you put that over here, please, so I can see too? Albert's always like Albert's been Albert. Yeah, Albert. Albert, who? Cody. Albert's our main uh, guy who's been talking over here. Albert the Denser. Is that what he is? That's Ninos's uncle. Yeah, I know that. I just said that. Oh yeah. Anyway, so let's move on to the next game: uh, the Warriors versus the Spurs. Okay. Steve is watching. You know Steve? Steve Mushi. No, not uh, Steve. Steve Bonnet. Greek Naya. Uh. Oh yeah, of course I know Steve. Chef what's a uh, what's a his uh, Xando? What's a HZ Xando? HZ? That's my boy. What is the HZ? Why can't he put his real name? And that's how he wants his name. What's a, uh, no? No, he needs to put his real Anyways, name. Anyways, under thank you so much. All these guys are tuning in with us. Thank you, homies. They actually joined us. Homie, homie, thank you for so much joining us with this one too. My favorite Albert, softball player. Wrong whistling. Okay, who is? Homie. Like, why do you have to lift the phone? Put it up. Finish. Because I, I, the glare, the reflection, and Ajibuto, the Coriolis effect. Anyway, it, it the Warriors them. versus the Spurs, Edmund. The Warriors yeah, it's versus over. the Spurs. Warriors, Warriors. Golden State should win this easily. The game is at tomorrow at night on TNT, so that's going to be something to look at. Rekla, yeah. so, look, San Antonio is not the same team anymore. We all know that. They've aged, okay. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, uh, Manu Ginobili, uh, these guys are carrying, trying to carry this team. But they're not the same team, okay? No. It's time to move on. It's time to rebuild in San Antonio, I believe. Bye-bye, San Antonio. Bye-bye. Okay? His famous words. Bye-bye. And finally, the Portland Trailblazers and the Pelicans. I can care less about this. They already Pelican swept them. Swept. It's done. Exactly. Done. So this Pelicans Kenushta. swept them. They're on, on the way. Kanushta, Kanush. So let's move on to the NHL, okay? The NHL right now, we have a couple of teams that have kind of moved on, okay? Um, and that is... Tampa Bay Lightning moved on already. They beat the Devils. Okay. Nashville Predators beat Colorado. We have the Pittsburgh Penguins who also moved on. They beat the Philadelphia Flyers. The, Gold, uh, the, the Winnipeg Jets moved on. They beat the Minnesota Wild. Um, a lot of teams have already moved on. There's only two teams left. The, you know, the Las Vegas Golden Knights, people. Okay, This is the expansion team yeah. this year, and they're already the odds-on favorite of winning the Cup. That's just crazy. That is very crazy. Yeah. And your favorite team, the San Jose Sharks, have the been The worst. Done. Garbage. Zibla. No. <laughs> so, Zaya Constantine also joined us. Thank you so much. You guys, all of us who are joining us, you guys can make your comments. We'll look at them. We'll respond to you. Or call in on his messenger. Or call on my messenger. We are live. We'll talk to you also. Just no comments about my hair. No comments about George Clooney. Or Julia. Okay? okay? Or Julia. Yeah. So, you know, the team that's left right now is the Washington Capitals versus the Columbus Blue Jackets. The way I see it is, if the Capitals don't win a cup, they're going to dismantle the team. I okay? like the Washington Capitals. Well, in, in a way, this is a make it or break. No, but season. ask me why I like. Why the do you like the Washington Capitals? In the '90s, there was a music video with Aaliyah. Do you remember Aaliyah? Mm -hmm. She did a music video, and she was wearing a Washington Capitals jersey. Which one? I want the stars across. I I think it was like I don't remember. It was a retro. It was Look usually for about a five '90s stars. video with Aaliyah. She's wearing a Washington Capitals jersey, and ever since that day, I like the Washington Capitals. Plus, it's our nation's capital. Nice hair, man, Albert saying. What, Albert? Cody. You know what, Albert? Sport. So the Washington Capitals, you know what? They, they, they need to, they are gonna, I think they're going to beat Columbus, but Columbus is putting a fight. But Washington needs to win the cup, because if not, they're dismantling the team, okay? And you have their captain... That's probably going to be looking for... Captain Morgan? Or? <laughs> captain. Okay. It's the only captain I know. 
is going to be looking for another team, in my opinion. You know anyone other than Captain Morgan? Balala. I know Captain... Captain Sirius, Captain Tapes. No. Captain, I know Captain Kirk. All right, so let's move on to the MLB people. Hello. We're going to try to cut this short a little bit. We're trying to move on quickly. Hello. So, um, so the MLB is, let's talk about the Chicago White Sox, okay? Uh, many White Sox fans out there thought, you know, they were going to have a spectacular team, knowing with the, with the uh, spring training how they started on fire. I know a few White Sox fans that um, I'm going to mention. I can name them on my hand. I, I can name two that I know. Who? Okay, one is... Um, Samano. Addison. Addison Samano, okay. He, he, he mushed the socks. He mushed the socks, you know. But he actually did say that they might not do so good this year. Wait a few more years. But you know what? At least not hearing from them. They actually have the, one of the that worst team, records. That attendance is so bad, they just started a new program. Did you That's hear? what I call it, the attendance. So the first 1,000 fans that go to the Sox game, they're going to give them Cubs tickets. Yeah. Not, not to yeah. mention the advertise at Wrigley Field. Yeah. Their own, you know, was it was it rate? What was it? Guaranteed rate. The Guaranteed guy, rate. But the arrow was mobile pointing. phone stadium. Little move. Okay, now, now now I'm trying to figure this. out. I kind of got it. Guaranteed rate. They just jinxed them by having his guarantee on their logo. La la, they're gonna do Honest, well. And the rate's going down. So anyway, Sox are four and thirteen, guys. Okay, they got blown out by the Houston Astros, which is two games back to back. It was like ten to one. Okay. They're four and thirteen, one of the worst MLB records. Yeah, and they came out with a report too recently. They said that uh, ninety-eight percent of all White Sox fans are convicted felons. <laughs> that's a given. Yeah, <laughs> and that's true. Honestly, I mean, the only place they sell the jerseys are in prison. The 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 stock for jerseys for the White Sox jerseys in prison is going up. So they're buying them over there. That sounds so bad. That was so bad. But I, I like it. I rather like it. Moving on to the Chicago Cubs, guys. The Chicago Cubs are flirting with 500 right now. They are winning a game. They're losing. But you know what, though? I can't, honestly, I'm not trying to make excuses because I'm biased about the Cubs fan. I'm a Cubs fan. So are you. And so are many people out here I am. in Chicago, okay? But when you have a team that gets postponed games like that, you're not going to be on a roll, okay? It's unfortunate, which I had said before, if the MLB started the season – for colder climate teams to play away teams, south, south teams, or even play teams in the Dome for the first three weeks, play away, and then come home. Well, I just think 162 games is too long. I agree with that. They need to shorten it by at least 30 games and start the season in May. You don't need to play 162 games or shorten it by 15 games on both sides. You shouldn't be playing baseball in October. Well, November. Yeah. You know, but you, you know what? That's you, not going to change. Well, no. It's not going to change. A, again, it comes to the owners being greedy, wanting Absolutely. more money. Absolutely. Because they all want to have 81 home games, 81 away games, and make that cheddar. Absolutely. Yep. But you know what? In a way, it totally makes sense to me what I was trying to say because I think my theory, my logic of it is play away because it's not like you're, you know, if you're not going to shorten the season, play the cold teams, play them away. Uh, but that then their argument is not every April's like this, okay? Yup, true. Helen, Hilda Yonan. Oh no, she's from Florida. No, no, she has but, no. Ilaka. I mean, Hilda, don't you agree? She's from Florida. No, we don't. Hilda, care about honestly, do you? I mean, I don't know who you're agreeing with. Yup, true. Yup, true, Moody. She's probably talking about her puppy. Yup, true. Stop talking about the White Sox, or I wa want to watch your show anymore. Z Martin Yochanna. I didn't even know you're a White Sox fan. Martin Yochan, I'm so sorry, brother, but it is what it is. I'm speaking the truth. 4 and 13, buddy, what do you want me to say to you? You know? It is what it is. Anyway, so the next thing is we're turning up and up at the Chicago Cubs is Chris Bryant. Um, that was a scary moment Sunday. Uh, bottom of the sixth inning, or I'm sorry, top of the sixth inning, he got hit uh, off a wild pitch onto the helmet. Luckily, that helmet was there to protect him. Of course. Um, and thank God he didn't get a concussion. No, he's you know, perfectly fine. And, you know, honestly, we thought there would be some kind of retaliation in this thing, but the Cubs are better than that. We, we're a classy team. We're, a classy we're not team. like the White Sox. We go beat up the first base coach. Hey, remember, remember that? Remember that? Of course. Of course I remember that. Of course I remember that. I mean, you talk about it. No. Yeah. Anyway, so with them, you know, not only did he get hit, even Rizzo got belted on that, and Rizzo was upset, you know. Yeah. So that was two hits on him. But you know what? He's good. There's no concussion. So, you know, we're good to go. Hopefully, the Cubs, it looks like they're swinging their bats, okay? They are swinging. What are you doing? I'm just, I just wanted to see how, almost like a pendulum. 
Actually, I want to know what's in this guy's coffee. Actually, I'm going to hypnotize the entire viewing audience. <laughs> you think it's working? You might do that answer. Why? Uh, it's pretty fun. Man, my hair is really that bad. Cushion that. Eddie Salon. Anyway. It's bad. Very bad. So he's okay. I think the Cubs are on the roll. So let's finally finish off the segment, guys. Uh, we'll talk about the NFL. Not for long. NFL. Not for long. Yeah. So let's, we're going to quickly discuss the first round of the first 10 picks because that's the most important pick. Thursday, okay. watch it. Thursday, what is it, 7 p.m., I believe, right? East 7 Central. I'm excited. And here come our producers. Our producers, guys, are Packer fans, okay? They're waving their, their – they're waving their – you want to toss it over here? Toss no. it over here so I can show you what, no, no. Show you what, they're, what they're showing me. He's getting right? naked. Bucky producers, Tita, aha. Uh -huh. Okay. This is what they're showing me, guys, the Packers. Packers are – I don't even know when they're drafting. The Green Bay Packers are probably like 14th. All right, so we have Aaron Woodson here, who's not even with the team anymore. Okay. Now they want to fix the camera for me to make sure the Packers are – everything is going legit. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, what do you want to do? Give the shirt back? Okay, what's, this needs to be washed. Anyway, so it here. It needs to be shredded. It's <laughs> shredded. So we got the Green Bay Packers. We'll toss that back. And then we have who's this? We have a baby toddler version of Aaron Rodgers. It looks like a onesie. He's gonna get hurt again first game. Oh uh, exactly. No, I got look so I, honestly like I'm not gonna dot these guys. I think they'll be in the Super Bowl this year if they stay healthy. Here you go. Uh, everything is if they okay. stay healthy. So Peter King's draft. Oh sorry. Peter King's draft, okay, from what they're saying, is Peter King's from SI, his mock draft. What are we doing? Which, by the way, I don't agree with this mock draft, but okay. I want oh, Peter King Lee at the HMD. Okay, so SI is saying, no, he, Peter King is very good. He's actually very good. So he's saying the Cleveland, if, if the mock draft were to go now, I, I, what are we doing? Okay, because the camera's not, okay. So the, what they're saying is the Cleveland Browns, if they stay to how it is set up right now, the Cleveland Brown, Browns are going to go with Sam Darnold, okay? So that's the second top pick going quarterback when they traded Kaiser. Last year they drafted Kaiser, now they're trading him, now they're going for Sam Darnold. But the Cleveland Browns actually have some really legit moves this year. Now they have the first and the fourth, okay? Plus, they have some assets. They got some good moves that they did as far as free agency. I think they're a team to contend this year. They have a great president who made the right moves, swung the right deals. So drafting Sam Darnold, if this stays this way, the QB from USC, how do you see that? I, could, I definitely see the first pick, Sam Darnold. Got it. Okay. I'm okay with it for Cleveland. So the New York Giants move on to Squam They're Barkley. not going to take Shaquanile. Sha 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 <laughs> They're not taking him. Shaquanta Barkley. Whatever. Okay, so the first one, Sam Dermole, Sam Darnold. But they're no, not, they're, okay. So that's why, good. But if the New York Giants traded up to get number two, why would they're they They're going to get a quarterback. They a, they're not going to get Saquon Barkley. That's a running back. Yeah, they're, they're going to get they need a quarterback. A running back. They need no, a good running back. They need a quarterback more. Well, yeah, but I know Manning has got, a, what, a two more years? And in my opinion, I think Manning is up in, in uh, Jacksonville next year. Manning's not getting traded. The next guy year. is a two-time MVP Super Bowl champion. He's not going anywhere. He's like a Well, if he retires with the Giants, it's yeah. the smartest thing to do. New York Giants are not going to take But you know Tom Coughlin is the president in Jacksonville, okay? I, yeah. And if Manning wants that cash, if he wants that cash, no, no state tax in Jacksonville. He's got too That's much where he goes. He's not going. Well, we'll see what Jacksonville does this year. The Giants are going to take a quarterback. Okay, so Cleveland Browns picking third. We got Bradley Chubb. Cleveland and the third pick is going to take Shaquan Barkley as a running back. Where does Bradley Chubb go? I don't know, but he's not going to Cleveland. And then Arizona Baker from Mayfield. Denver. Which makes total sense. I don't like Baker Mayfield. Well, he's another Johnny Manziel. I'm telling well, you. Well, we don't know that. I mean, this, this will the be point. the biggest bust of the, of, the, of, the, of the year. Baker, remember this. Listen. <laughs> if that you they're listen winning a Super to Bowl. me, you will go forward. Like my dad says. In Mashmid Ali, Paz Lakama. If you listen to me, you will go forward. This guy's going to be the biggest bust, like Johnny Menzel. Baker Mayfield? That means no he's going to win the Super Bowl. No. Okay, so we have, honestly, this is the first year that I've, excuse me, I've seen where four quarterbacks are being drafted in the first round. And, no, no, you mean in the first four or five picks. First four or five picks. Yeah, but okay. according but to this, the they're round. not. You got this Bradley Chubb, whatever. He's not, no. Well, I mean, this is just a mock from what, 
Well, that's why this Peter King doesn't know what he's talking about. I think the New York Giants, yeah. Do they need a quarterback? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So let's move on to the Buffalo Bills, okay, who have back-to-back drafts. Wait, this is not making sense. Never mind. Fifth pick. I messed up on this one. Yeah, it's okay. Josh Allen, QB. Absolutely. They need a quarterback regardless. There's got got no point on that one. They need a quarterback regardless. Um, Guys, if you have any, you know, if you know your draft, okay, like we do, if you have any idea, like, you know, what you might think when you input your idea of where you think these draft orders might go. Wait, wait, time out. Great. Look what Albert just said. Love your show. Love it. What did he say? Nathan. Shikwani. Shikwani. Oh, Lalawal, well, agree, agree with, with Edmund. Edmund. Thank you, Albert. Albert, but you agree with Anyway, so Steve Mushi, best QB in the NFL, Rodgers. Well, no, 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 no. No. That's, that's not going to be a different debate. I still think it's Steve, Tom Brady. No, no, listen. <laughs> Our producers are ready Tom, for the draft. Tom Brady currently is still absolutely the best quarterback in the NFL. Okay, this is like LeBron James versus Michael Jordan. No, 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 no. no in no, a no. way. No. Le- you don't put you don't mention LeBron Shikhtana with Michael Jordan. You could say you could say no. You could say LeBron James with Kobe Bryant. I could see that comparison. Yeah, okay. But yeah. listen, but my point is Aaron Rodgers still has to be has to prove himself. How many okay? Super Bowls does Aaron Rodgers yes. have? One. One. Okay? I, I agree. I agree. He is not. Tom Brady, right now, solidified the best quarterback over Joe Montana. Look, this is a discussion. Listen, when we start is, the NFL. Is Aaron Rodgers a Hall of Fame quarterback? Absolutely. Yes. But he's not the greatest quarterback. He's is he not. a top three quarterback in the NFL right now? Yes. I would even say he's maybe the second best quarterback, but he's not the best right now. Who's no. LeBron? Steve, who's comparing LeBron to Kobe? Don't compare LeBron to Kobe. We never did. I Kobe, did. Kobe. No, wait, Kobe's better than LeBron. No, no, I was saying don't mention uh, okay, okay. LeBron and Jordan in the same sentence. I said it's okay to mention like Kobe and LeBron in the same sentence. I don't know what he means. Don't I, compare. Why? He thinks, Le- to oranges? He thinks LeBron is better than Kobe? Chab- Steve, Chabush did that. So anyway. Okay. Um, and here we go to number seven, which is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Defensive okay? back. They I don't agree with that. They I don't need, agree with that. They need a DB. Listen, right now, in my opinion, they need that running back out of Penn State. Okay? Shaquan, they're not going to get him. Listen. The, they're not going to get him. Yeah, that is, look, they have no running back. I think he does land. The, if the Bucks, if Shaquan Barkley lands in the seventh pick. It's not going to happen. I don't think so. I think he might get drafted ahead of that. No, yeah. I think he might get drafted ahead of that. But if he lands at seventh pick, Tampa Bay's got to grab him, okay? Yeah, but they he's not going to gonna make him. it. I'm not saying that he's not going to make it. But if he does, you if, grab him. If, of okay? course, of course. You grab him. Because, yeah. yes, your front four right now for Tampa Bay is ridiculously good. They improved him dramatically. Yeah. Okay, they improved dramatically. Do they need help in the secondary? Absolutely they need help in the secondary. Yeah. But let's see what comes up in the second round because not always the first round gets you the best pick. The good the players always come in the second and third round. Didn't Tampa once pick a punter like in the third round? Do you have to bring that up every time we sit together? Facts. I'll grow you. Yes, second round, big bust. And Everybody what happened to him now? Unless that? the Bears ever picked up a bust. Where is he at now? Nowhere. Go, yeah, I'm I'll sorry, go. he ended up with the Chicago filth and then they dropped him. Okay, next. Oh, my team. Okay, so right now we go to the Chicago Bears. Quinton Nelson. No. They do need a lesson. They are looking at a guard. They do need a guard. He's not going to. Okay. He, they're going to end up getting the linebacker from Georgia, Smith. They're not taking this guy. They're not they, taking a guard. They're taking a li- linebacker. Well, they did mention a linebacker who is like, they, they, they mentioned him as Ray Lewis kind of a player. Yeah, he's okay? like a torpedo. He's a torpedo. Yeah. Okay, but, but it's gonna be we Smith don't from know. Georgia. With this guy from Chicago, we don't know. That they want him. We don't know his. It's none of guaranteed. Them, it's guaranteed. Yeah, but none of them know their Hang health on. yet. Hey, we want Smith for the eighth pick for Bears. It's done. But, but we don't know not. yet. With, I know. I know. The combines look. As, as far as fans, we they don't know. You know, with Pace probably knows the medical records Where? conditions out of these players. But they need a guard. They need to build around your quarterback. Because we have if, a good offensive no, line. No, you guys have. I Chicago would, Bears, listen. No, no, we have an above-average offensive above line. Above-average is not going to cut, cut your playoff it's, it's, it's good not. enough. If you're going to sit there and, we and need draft a Mitch Trubisky, if you're going to sit there and draft Mitch Trubisky, you need to build him around. We have, okay? we have, we have. You, how many times was Mitch Trubisky sacked and ran for his life last year? It's okay. He's young. He can take it. 
Absolutely Shh. not. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely not. He's you okay. draft your guard. They're going to go for Quinton Nelson because that's everyone's predicting. Quinton you, Nelson. You want to make a bet? We're not betting on life. Let's let's bet. Come on. That's let's the last bet. thing we need. I'll bet you a kebab sandwich. A kebab sandwich? Okay. Okay. Kebab sandwich. Okay. okay. I, I say they're going to take the linebacker. From and Georgia. finally, the San Francisco 49ers, Quinton Smith. Nobody cares about San Francisco. Quinton Smith. Um, no. A few fans out there. I know a few. Oakland, uh, Mike McGlinchey out of Notre Dame. You know, at this point, it's just the top seven, eight picks that we're San Francisco, for. Oakland, San Jose. Psh, psh. Anyway, guys, that concludes our segment for today. I want to thank my producers, um, as always. Um, I want to thank our sponsors, our G, uh, J. Thomas Painting. And obviously, um, we'd like to thank Nino Smalky for your sponsorship and your help towards the show. You know, it, it, it's a great show as, you know, for us to sponsor. Thank you so much for that. Um, any of you guys that you want to sponsor our show too, our number is up. My number is up on the screen. Um, well, you know, it's obviously 847-338-3414. So thank you so much for that. Um, yes, did you want anything? Yeah, just last thing for all the viewers out there, just so you know, if an Assyrian shows up 20 minutes late, he's actually 30 minutes early. That was it. We'll get that number up on the screen for the sponsorship. Again, we'd love that. Um, anyway, from that, we'll go to wrap up the segment. I'd like to thank my uh, guests, as always, uh, Edmund, you know, your knowledge and expertise uh, is always great here. We love it. Um, other than that, we will see you guys next week. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. God bless you guys. Drive safe if you're going anywhere.